Well, a shocking new report suggests that Democrat Texas Congresswoman Veronica Escobar is sending her staff, congressional staff, into Mexico to help migrants game the system. According to the Washington Examiner, they're teaching illegal immigrants how to exploit loopholes that would allow them back into the U.S. Here to react is Border Patrol agent and vice president of the National, National Border Patrol Council, Hector Garza. Hector, thank you very much for being here and, as, as always, for your service. So when you hear a report like this that says members of a congressman's staff, congresswoman's staff, are in Mexico, part of the thing is they, if they, know, they don't know how to speak Spanish. They can't stay in Mexico, so they're, they're training them to pretend like they don't speak Spanish. I mean, this almost doesn't sound real. It's actually it's un unbelievable, and it's actually fraud. And the problem is, is that we have border patrol agents on the front line, front lines of this of this crisis. Uh, we have a do nothing Congress, and then we have this congressional staff going into Mexico, encouraging people to, to commit fraud with the United States. That's very troublesome, and it's actually undermining the work of our border patrol agents. We can't believe that. So, has this policy, this remain in Mexico policy, has it been helpful for you, so that folks that come here claim asylum, they remain in Mexico while their claim is adjudicated? Uh, has that has that lo loosened some of the stress for you guys? Is it a good idea? And how much would what they're trying to do here undermine it? Well, thanks to President Trump, the Remain in Mexico policy is actually working. Last month, we saw about 144,000 uh, app apprehensions and inadmissibles on the border. Uh, this month, when the numbers come out, you're going to see that number under 100,000. That's a little bit over 30 percent reduction in apprehensions. And all of that thanks to President Trump and the Remain in Mexico policy. Great difference, and we appreciate that. Hector, we've reached out to Escobar's office for a statement. We have not heard back yet. We hope they respond. We'd love to have the congresswoman on tomorrow to explain it. But what could their rationale be? Is their rationale, provided these reports are true, just literally to circumvent the law and commit fraud? I mean, how would they explain this? There's actually no rationale. The, on, the only way you can explain this is that these congressmen, these Democrats, hate President Trump so much that they're willing to go to Mexico and bring these people across to commit fraud. It's unbelievable. They should start concentrating and rep representing people in their district, not in Mexico. And hopefully the U.S. Attorney's Office can look into this incident and see if there's criminal charges that are, that are pending here. See if, see if this can be investigated and see if, uh, if somebody can get charged for committing fraud. One last comment, briefly. The hypocrisy of... A congresswoman like her and other Democrats who say there's, there's a crisis, you know, concentration camps, yet they won't work with this president to sufficiently fund these institutions so they can deal with the wave. So, so there's, no, there's no surprise here. There's a crisis on the border. We're overwhelmed. We're over capacity. We've been talking about this for months already. When the Democrats were denying that there was a crisis, when they were blaming President Trump, they were in denial. And now all of a sudden they're, they're worried because there's overcrowding. They're, they're worried because they went to a border patrol station uh, where they're saying that there's not enough uh, space. Well, guess what? That's what we've been saying. That's what we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, for example, AOC, she voted no on the supplemental to bring more money so that we can house these people. So we can have uh, additional facilities and additional resources. Yeah. So it's just hi hypocrisy and it's political posturing. That's all it well, is. Well, now they're the ones creating a manufactured crisis that has always been real. Hector Garza, thank you very much for your service and your time. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. sir. Good stuff.